Charles Darwin, one man with one big idea, evolution. The English naturalist is honored in an exhibition at the Natural History Museum in London. It traces his steps, which were to revolutionize science. Everything started with an adventure to the end of the world at the age of just 22 years old. The trip lasted five years. Um, he traveled across the Atlantic, round South America, over to uh, the Pacific Islands, and then ran back to the UK again. During his trip, Charles Darwin saw all sorts of animals and birds. His studies led him to the belief that all living species derived from a small number of common ancestors. An idea developed in 1859 by his major work on the origin of species by means of natural selection. His ideas turned accepted science and religion on their head. Some scientists wrote to him and said, thank you, this is fantastic, exactly what we needed, you know, this explains all the science I'm doing. Some people wrote to him and were very disappointed, they know this is completely wrong and, you know, this is going against uh, our beliefs and, and, our, and God. Even today, his work provokes much controversy, for example, among the religious right in the United States. But Darwin's theories remain the most widely accepted scientific model of how species evolve. Charles Darwin has changed the way how humans view themselves. And I think these groundbreaking ideas that we are part of nature and not separate from nature is what we have to thank Darwin for. 150 years later, Darwin himself is dead. But the longevity of his ideas shows that the survival of the fittest is not just about species, but also about thoughts.